I'm Brian McCoy, and this is the Apocalyptic Swamp Buggy. Long story about this little car right here is we bought it right after we got married in 2001. And uh, it was the first Volkswagen I've ever owned. And I built the Baja out of it. Looked kind of like a Charlie Brown car with black and yellow and drove it around for a little while. And then I was in a motorcycle accident and had to sell it. Luckily the guy I got it from, I sold it to, knew me. He owned the record service and he kept it for six years. And when I was able to get enough money, Lisa and I talked about it and we went back and purchased the car. And um, yes, I got it back and it went as a dune buggy. We took the chassis off, built a dune buggy out of it, kept the body on the side. And then I went ahead and got another chassis and took the body and put it back on top. So Lisa and I got together and kind of decided what we wanted to do with this thing and I always loved the Mad Max movies and of course we're living in South Louisiana and we don't have any desert scene so I figured what if Bobby Boucher and Mad Max had a love child this is kind of what they would create. So a little bit of everything on this car and a lot of nothing. Um, it's all rattle can paint job. Went to Lowe's, picked up different colors. Uh, we talked about kind of figure out what color we wanted. We decided on this green. And I kind of gave it the patina look. And just kind of threw whatever I could on it. Um, motorcycle mirrors. Uh, these come off of a 58 Carvette. The little spears that come off the front of it. Uh, this actually came off the house which we don't have safety uh, bars anymore. And you can see this one right here, my helper, that helps me out when I work on the cars. This is Chewy. But, yep, this is her. Let's look at the interior. I redid the panels with a genuine cow leather that we picked up. Nice little wooden steering wheel I got from another project that I had. Gear shifter. That was a wrench from my uncle's old toolbox. Everything labeled real easily. The back has that nice little cabin feel to it. With my AC out of an ice chest. Put a little ice in it. Blows nice and cold. Roof made out of a... Um, a window shade, of course, a nice place to put my hat when I need to go cruising somewhere so I can hang my hat up. Got a skunk and a CB. As you can see, I have the rack loaded down for just about anything we'd need out in the swamp to survive. We got the blow gun, got fishing poles, got a skateboard. You just never know when you're going to need a skateboard. Got the chupacabra already in his cage. Got a gas can, got a, a first aid kit. A little bit of everything, you know. Um, you can see Pee Wee even has his own little vehicle. Pee Wee was given to me by a good buddy of mine. And, um... Uh, Another friend of mine, she had the little Volkswagen up in the attic at her parents' house, and this is what I made of it. Pee Wee even has his own little skull hanging out the back of his car. 
but you know it's got its own ammo box and I guess you can see some of the ammo sticking out you know got to make sure that that stays in here and it's like what the hell that's doing in here well, we don't need that hold that Lisa The car has a few unique uh, features on it. Um, it's got the can opener or beer opener for Lisa. That way, in case you ever need it, you can use it on the bumper. The blinkers come off of a 65 Mustang. The body piercing, actually, Ian Roussel from Full Custom Garage built it. And I got it from him and made it where it fit on the front of the, uh, the car. The little flashing light came off of a buddy of mine's uh, vehicle. He had picked it up. It was kind of a work truck that didn't need the light, so you know me. I'm going to figure out something for it. All the front lights work. Got the little devil sitting on the front, little uh, license type topper. Got a nice little fuel, I mean, uh, air pump, so in case I get a little tire, it helps out, you know. So a lot of people ask me at the car show, the velocity stacks, do they work? It's an air-cooled vehicle. So I tell people it's like this. When you got an air-cooled vehicle, where do you put the water for the radiator? Well, you just kind of dump it in the middle right here. And whenever it gets full, it just takes it out. Gotta have fun with your vehicles, guys. I did a um, skull that whenever you give the throttle, it's fine to move up. And whenever you hit the brake, the eyes light up. So now at a certain time, we can sit there and mess with people in the back. Gotta have fun with your vehicles. Well, folks, this is the apocalyptic swamp buggy. We've uh, we've built it. We go to car shows in it. We have fun in it. And as you can see, I do tear it up a little bit. Now I gotta go wash it, or I'll get Lisa to wash it. But chances are, I'll probably wash it. But uh, I just want to thank everybody for watching the video, and uh, big big shout out to Hank Dutton, who's uh, been helping me do the videos and helped us through everything. You can see the star of the show, Chewy. She comes out here. That's my my shop cat that that helps me out. And uh, Lisa's big inspiration. She I'll pass everything by her, see what what she thinks, and she tells me what she'd like to see on it, and I put it on there. So uh, follow us on Facebook under Kuyon Customs and YouTube channel. We just started uh, under Kuyon Customs. And we'll kind of keep you in touch of the shenanigans that happens out here in the South Louisiana with our cars and our animals. And just simple folk just trying to have fun. Most of the cars that Brian builds uh, when we go to car shows are uh, people friendly. So that's one plus because most of the cars that like this one are where people can hands-on and touch and most of the waitresses 
always gather around where they take photo shoots and touch it and everything. And the kids, it's a big draw for children, so big kids and little kids alike. So, and as you can see, when Chewie jumped out of the window, animals love them too. So, animal friendly and <laughs> Bigfoot friendly. There you go. So, again, follow us on YouTube and Facebook under Kuyon Customs. Yeah, I got the short end of the stick over here.